Okay, so this is our coop. We have a padlock on it. Um, and originally this was just to keep things like raccoons who are very smart um, from getting into the chicken coop at night. So it's nice to have a somewhat complicated lock. You could just have one um, that goes like this and you put a stick through it. We have a padlock on here because people don't live here at City Sprouts. Um, and we also wanna keep uh, curious people out from trying to open up the chicken coop when we're not here. So we do um, have an actual lock, but that's optional. Um, this nice big door. So we generally let the chickens out in the morning and we lock them up. Here at City Sprouts, we lock them up when we leave for the day. Um, but at home, you want to make sure to always have your chickens locked up and safe before dusk, um, which is when raccoons start to come out. So follow me in here. So inside this coop, we have their food. We have it up on this log because it helps keep um, all of these wood shavings out of the food. And the water is also up on some bricks for the same reason. The chickens can still reach it just fine. It's nice to be able to keep your food and water clean. Then you don't have to change things out as frequently and it keeps the chickens healthier. We just use this regular um, rubber tub for water. We've used some of the fancier um, chicken waters before, but they always seem to not last as long and start to leak. So this has worked really well for us. Also in the winter time, we just put a little, um, I think they're made for horse trough. It's a little defroster that you just stick in there and keeps the water from freezing. Super simple. Um, this is a nesting box over here. We have little wooden eggs inside it to try to encourage the chickens to lay in different boxes. Right now we have eight chickens. We have three nesting boxes. They still mostly lay in one nesting box at a time. They just take turns, but three is plenty. Um, these are roosts, so this is on either side. This is where they sleep at night. Um, they all sit pretty close together. Chickens like to get up off the ground um, to sleep. They, it would be trees if they were in the wild. Um, this is a little chicken swing here that we had volunteers that made on the internet. Chickens love swinging on swings. I have not ever seen a chicken get on this and they got kind of freaked out when I put them on there. So. I don't know, it might need to be more stable, but it's fun, chicken swing, there's one outside too. This little hut is actually a composter that someone left for us, but it's been um, really nice using it as a little extra shelter for the chickens. They, they lay eggs in there sometimes. Um, just keeps things a little more exciting. Sometimes they chase each other around and they can go hide in there if they need to. Uh, we use the deep litter method in our chicken coop. So this is all of the winter's bedding built up. We will in the next month or so um, pull all this bedding out um, and probably put it onto our compost pile to be used for the plants later on um, and put some fresh stuff in and start building it up. It really doesn't have a smell in here. Um, every once in a while you come in and rake in any poop that is um, built up underneath the roost, but it's super simple.